Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to remove carpet. Starting with the tools that you will need to do this, we have a flathead screwdriver, any old pair of pliers, I'm using these old wire cutters, utility knife with a sharp blade, some knee pads are always a good idea, some gloves, safety glasses which I have on right now, a hammer and pry bar to take up the tack stripping. Now the obvious first step is to get everything off the floor revealing the carpet all the way from wall to wall. All right, now that we have a clear view of the floor, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to take up carpeting. Now, in our house, this is the last room that has carpeting left in it. But if your whole upstairs is carpeted and you're only going to remove the carpet from one room, you're going to want to start in the doorway where your transition is going to be and cut the carpet along there first. So that way you don't ruin carpet that you want to save out in the hallway or something. And if you have a transition strip like we do here, you're going to want to pull that up so that we don't ruin it because we're going to use it again afterwards. So with that said, let's go ahead and remove the transition strip. To pry up the transition strip, just take the flathead screwdriver, start it in the corner. And there we go, now we got it started. And it's just a matter of pulling it up the rest of the way gently. Now with the transition strip out of the way, the carpet is easily removed from the transition point. One of the main reasons that carpet's so easy to remove is that it's only held along the edges by tack stripping. This in the middle just floats. So we're just going to take our utility knife, cut it into manageable size strips, and get it out of the room. Just pick an edge where you want to start. And keeping firm pressure, just slice the rug. Now with your first strip fully cut from end to end, we can just pull it up from the tack stripping, pull away from the baseboard to not damage it, all along the edge of the wall. Now you can just roll it up and haul it out. And when the time comes, just don't forget to close the door out of the way so that you don't pull the rug up against the door. All right, we got all the rug removed, exposing all of the underlayment layer. So the underlayment layer is stapled into this wooden subfloor. And carefully starting in a corner, we're gonna pry it off of the staples. The staples typically run along the whole edge of the tack stripping as well as where the pieces of underlayment meet. And if you check out the top right hand corner of your screen, you will find my entire 10 minute video of doing all the flooring upstairs. All right, and here we have the base subfloor, which is just plywood sheathing. Revealing the staples here, which we'll remove next. All right, now we get all the underlayment removed, we can move on to the floor staples. Definitely want to have knee pads on for this step. So I like to take a flathead screwdriver, peel the staple, pry it up a little bit, take your pliers, pull it out. All these little guys got to come out. Just show you a couple more here. Quick pry up, quick pry up. Sometimes you get lucky and they pop right out with a screwdriver. Other times, just pull them out like this. I find that to be the quickest and least frustrating way to do this. But trust me, it is tedious. So I think you got the point of how to remove the staples. Now you're just going to do that all the way around your room, anywhere that they are on the subfloor. And then we'll go from there. All right, now that we have all the underlayment staples removed, I like to just vacuum up the floor real quick before we tackle the tack stripping. That way we don't step on any of these staples. All right, with all the staples vacuumed up, we're back on the floor, and now we can remove the tack stripping. For this, I like to use a small pry bar and a hammer. The nails that hold this in are very short and they're very easy to pry up. And 
and just like that it pops out of place. Be careful with this, it's sharp on this side and this side. Now you just follow the whole room around, get rid of all the tack stripping. All right, everyone, that's all the tack stripping from this closet. Just clean that up, give the floor a good vacuum, and you have a completely down to subfloor clean surface to work with to install your next floor. And this is it for the first of three videos in this series of getting rid of your old floor, removing the baseboards, and installing your new vinyl plank flooring. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Have a great day, everybody.